Hey everybody, Mike here. I'm out on the road with Starlink and it's working great. All the details coming up. A couple of weeks ago, I started seeing a few reports of Starlink roaming. The first was from Marcus over at Tuck's Truck. Marcus and his wife Julie have been driving around North America for, I think, a few years now using Starlink for internet. For most of that time, they've had to keep changing their service address as they traveled. So as they moved from place to place, they'd update their service address to where they were going. This is tedious, but it worked for them. A couple of weeks ago, Marcus noticed this roaming equals true flag started to appear in their debug data in the app and that Starlink was actually working outside of the service area. He did a great write-up on his blog about all this. I'll post the link down below, so definitely take a look. This roaming capability is something I've been really looking forward to. So I took my dish out right away to try it out. It didn't actually work the first time, but I tried it a week later, so by last weekend I actually saw the same roaming equals true flag, and everything started working. Starlink also updated their terms of service to include a section on Starlink portability, basically this roaming functionality, which clarifies that you still have a home service location with guaranteed service, but while you're roaming, Starlink will provide service on a best effort basis. This also means, and this is pretty huge, that if you're still waiting for your Starlink dish, you could place an order in another area, then just kind of run it as roaming from your home location. You might not get as good service as you would from your official home location, but if you've basically got nothing, it might be an approach you could take. Once capacity opens up, you can move your home address to where you're actually using it. I'm not sure if this will work in all areas, but maybe worth a shot. As far as I've heard, this is still limited to your own service country. You can't roam internationally, but I haven't personally tried it anywhere outside of Canada. So I've been hacking my own Starlink dish for a long time, starting way back in 2020 with the first teardown. I'll post the videos all up here and in the description. Then I did my off-grid setup, powering dishy and everything from battery and solar power. Then removing the motors for a completely flat dish uh, to reduce weight and make it a bit more portable. So when I heard about this roaming, this is kind of the last piece that I needed to take the whole thing out and uh, operate in the field. Then, at almost the same time as the roaming was opening up, Elon Musk tweeted out, relating to the war in Ukraine, that you could now use Starlink in a moving vehicle. So, I just have to try it out. So what I had to do was find a way to mount this securely onto the roof of my car. I picked up some of these off just Amazon. They are just little rubber coated magnets. And they're actually for mounting like off-roading light bars and stuff like that temporarily onto a car. But they seem pretty strong and they weren't too expensive. I'll put the link down in the description. And now I just needed a way to attach these securely to the dish. So what I got is a, just a piece of angle iron, it's three quarter inch by I think an eighth of an inch thick. And it's just uh, angle iron, you can see the profile there, probably out of focus. And what I'm gonna do is just mount it onto these studs, shorter of course, uh, to secure the dish and then put the magnets on the other end. So it should be easy, let's go. Okay, I've done my base and I want to give you a close-up look of how it all went together. So what you can see here is the four magnets. So these are the rubber coated magnets. Those are bolted to these cross pieces, which are then all the way across there. And then these four screws are right into the mounting uh, studs on the dish itself. These white ropes are just for safety. I'm gonna tie them on the car. So if the magnets don't hold and this thing turns into a sail, uh, these ropes will just keep it from hitting the car behind me. You can see the black ethernet cable. What I did is I plugged it in there 
And just so that it wouldn't get pulled by the car, I just kind of tucked it and it's fairly tight fit under there. I just kind of tucked it under this side and under this side. So it's got a bit of friction holding it so it doesn't yank on the connector. Let's see how it works. All right, it's ready to test. I've got it mounted on the roof. You can see the magnets underneath. I've got some white ropes here just for safety in case the magnets don't hold. Um, hopefully we won't need those ropes to do anything, but in case the wind catches underneath here and it's just too much and it flies off, I want the ropes there just to make sure I don't lose the whole thing on the highway. All right, here we go. Ugh. It'll be a good test with all the potholes. Just making my way to the highway. Sorry, we got a bit of wind noise because I've got the window open to run the uh, ethernet cable up to the roof. Okay, here we go, onto the highway. Okay, we just passed 70 miles per hour, around 110 kilometers per hour. Past 120 kilometers, that's around, let's say, 75 miles per hour. All right, so this is 80 miles per hour, 130 kilometers per hour. I'll have to look at the footage later to make sure that the, uh, the dish is actually stay staying on the roof. I haven't heard it clunking around yet though. So far, signal looks pretty solid, stable. While I'm testing here, let me know in the comments what you want to do with either Starlink roaming, so the ability to move the dish but keep it stationary, just outside your service area, or Starlink mobility, like I'm testing here, actually using the dish while in motion. Okay, I got an overpass coming up. Let's see if it notices. Yeah, there is a, a small blip in the network stats, the uptime, just going under that overpass. Take a look at these results. So still 80 miles per hour. Uptime stats look good. This is incredible. So I'm cruising down the highway, 80 miles per hour. 130 kilometers per hour, high-speed internet from space, from a constellation of satellites that are orbiting the Earth at far faster speeds, and I'm getting almost no disruptions, really just from driving under overpasses. And this would work anywhere on the planet. So, strictly speaking, the Starlink flat panel dish on my roof is not rated as an earth station in motion for Canada. So I am probably violating the license here, but I just had to try it. I couldn't resist. I think even without the station in motion, just the fact that roaming is now enabled, that I can set this up in a stationary location anywhere in Canada and get high-speed internet is pretty amazing. I'm definitely going to be taking it off the roof and uh, bringing it camping. So there you have it, over 200 megabits per second, driving down the highway, 130 kilometers, 80 miles per hour, no disruptions except for overpasses. Truly amazing technology.
subscribe if you like this kind of content. Hit the bell to get notified of all the updates I do on this. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Around the roundabout. We got a lot of those. Nova Scotia. Another roundabout. And one more roundabout. I'm going to keep saying roundabout because I know everyone loves hearing that Canadian accent.